So I just set a ball of string on top of my dryer. Don't look at my garage, y'all. Don't look at it. But uh, the next thing I know, Dexter's got it. Couldn't figure out how he did it. Go get it. Go get it. He's his ball of string up there. Go get it, Dex. Go get it. Go get it. You go get it. Get it. Get the ball. You get it. You've done it. You've, well, you've done it before. Unbelievable. You are a smart little cookie. You like a kitty cat. You like a kitty cat. Good boy. I want to thank RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. I've got their mattresses in my camper van, my Class C Bigfoot RV, and my tiny house here. Do you need a mattress for your home or RV? Hmm. Then go to rvmattress.com slash campervankevin. Use the coupon code campervankevin to get this month, 35% off your purchase. They also have specials on their pillows, sheets, blankets, and more. All right. Now, back to our video. Hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Mm. I'm real good. Just got a call. Still hadn't cut my hair. Just got a call from my buddy uh, Paul and his wife Darcy. They are bringing up my 1985 Honda Big Red from Phoenix. He's had the bike 10, 15 years, and he's also bringing up a car shelter. So, kind of a big day here at Vagabond. I can't wait for him to get here. Here comes Paul with the new big red three-wheeler. Tuck, stay. No, 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 get down. Stay. Dexter, come over here, bud. Hey, Darcy. Hey, Paul. Hey. Uh -uh, now, Dex, Dex, get over here. There she is. Never mess with a woman whose aim is better than her temper. <laughs> That's for sure. You got, are you a good shot? Oh yes, one love, shot, kill him dead. I love your shirt. Thank you. Thank you. Hey Samurai, <laughs> that's nice. I like, I like that exoskeleton. <laughs> Let's, let's build one. <laughs> Get down, Tuck Tuck. So you brought the big red and the car shelter, yeah, huh? Yeah, let's see how it goes. All right, all right. Happy to see y'all. You had to videotape the fact that it's not even strapped down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, how, how big how big is this car shelter, Paul? Tell me tell me a little bit. It's 12 by 20. 12 by 20? Yeah. All right, all right. We'll you, set it up real quick. It doesn't take me a minute to put the exoskeleton up. Yeah? You got screws? No, we'll just stand it all up. Oh, okay. It goes together. I had it together for a while. Look at the dust on your road. Got my brand new, brand new paint, paint that, that Felix painted. So so tell me, uh, you've had this for 10 years. Where did it come from? I think more than that. Yeah. Had it 15 years? Yeah. This guy uh, bought it and he used it. Uh, he had a... 40 acres and he had an airplane and an airstrip uh -huh. and he used it for dragging his airstrip and that's all he used it for so he bought it new and then you got it so yeah. it can't it can't have many hours on it yeah it never even been titled it was uh i just got a bill of sale on it all right all right but you put these tires on it i did put tires on it. i still had the original tires on when i got it so Those little knobby ones how were the, how, how much was the tread on it good so they it, were just old 
So my dad bought me an 85 250SX, and uh, I kept it till right before I come out west. I sold it to my neighbor. I tried to buy it back. He wouldn't sell it to me. But, uh, gosh, if the, if the original tires still had good tread, this engine don't have many hours at all then. It still had the original tires, and the tread were really good. It's just um, they were just weather-checked real bad. Sure. We call, yeah. we call those. I don't know if you can buy this stuff. But. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They call those woolly boogers is what I, is that I what they call them. Yeah, I had them on the back. So, uh, yeah. Well, I was going to use it for when I'm hunting and stuff, so I wanted a pretty aggressive tread on it, but. I, was, I guess I guess I guess I could have put a just a regular tire on the front. But. Well, that's fine. I, um, the 250SX was a sport version of this, so it didn't have quite as big a tires. And the transmission, I think, is a little bit different. But uh, my 250 the, tire, the tires are more truck tires too. They're more of a heavier applied tire than the the ones that came on it. My 250SX, uh, I, I raced my friend along. I was on the right away, and I did 65. So I don't yeah, think we the had big a couple two fifty two strokes. Yeah, this is a four stroke, yeah. but it ought to do fifty fifty five. I would think. I don't know what it does. I never had it going that fast. We've had it going fast enough. But... And you said this wasn't broke till just the other day. <laughs> yeah. Ain't that the way it goes? But but I think it'll clean up. I think somebody pushed it back in its spot and pushed right here. Just cracked it. Well, they make replacements, so. I was thinking we can probably get some uh, super glue and try to glue that for now and just see if it'll... What I did, um, I, I took a mine, uh, I was riding on, this, on the right away at night and a guy threw a, got threw a bottle at me and it hit my leg and it went and busted my plastic. And I took a, a five gallon bucket and cut it and put behind, heated it up, heated the, the, the bucket material, heated up, then I ran screws on either side of it at, and mm. it held. That's before you could get replacement fenders and stuff oh, so yeah. easy. Well, I was thinking if you super glued it, there won't be no stitching or metal or anything. But we try it. What's it going to hurt? And then maybe, maybe super glue something up underneath it for support as well. Yeah, and then I wanted to find some like LED lights or something that would work in the back, but I never got to that. Yeah, I I, I found these uh, tail lights on eBay. Did you? Yeah. I was going to put LEDs in it. Might as well. This has got that detachable headlight, so it's yep. a work light. Yep. Good deal. All right, we'll get it off of here. But you say it was—it's been run on airplane fuel this he whole ran life. It on those, uh, so he had an airplane. So because that fuel lasts so long, he would just put it in there so it wouldn't never go bad in the carburetor. And so when I got it, I uh, ran it ran. It still had the fuel in it when I got it. And when it ran out, I went and bought regular pump gas. And I think it's like. I think it's less like, octane. I think it's like cracked to this thing because it liked it. Don't like running on the regular pump gas now. But then again, in, back in the 80s, it was still running probably higher octane than they are today. That's true. So, oh, well, but it runs good. It just I checked with a mechanic on race fuel. I checked with the mechanic up here, and he said it'd be six months before he could get to it. But all we really need to do is the front fork seals. All the fluid changed. You think the brakes are pretty good? Yeah, and I mean, this is, I don't know if that's leaked out or if it's just, if it's just the dust boots that need to be placed because it's not sagging. Yeah, I, I, I rode mine with a bad fork seal for 15 years, so I'm not real concerned, but I'll get it I'd done. I'd still be riding with bad fork seals because I wouldn't even fix it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I know you. Well. You got to have everything just running right. So. But she's 40 years old. Yeah. All right, we'll get it off of here. There she is. Well, she's big. You know, everybody thinks they have to have a 600, 800 cc ATV. This 250? It's all the faster you need to go. I outrun a Grizzly 600, I think, on my, AT, on my 250. The guy couldn't believe it. I'm like, power to weight, and I only oh, got- two stroke 250s back in the day. Were but I said, you, I got four, you got, I have three tires, you got four you're trying to push. Yes, can, can. Oh. So these are for the rifle right here. Heck yeah. And I don't know if he, he must have used it sometime for hunting. I found the uh, stickers for it as well. I can replace the stickers. Here's a good sign. Look down in that gas tank right there. Can you see how clean it is down in there? Oh yeah. 
All right, I hit the start button and she fired up right away. Sounds just like my 250SX. I'll look for some pictures and see if I can find it. The pictures I got are really old, so I don't know. I'd like to thank Electric E-Bikes for sponsoring this video. I've been riding Electric E-Bikes now for three years, trouble free. I've tested several different electric bicycles on my channel, but Electric is my favorite. And the X-Peak is my favorite model. I've had the 2.0, the 3.0, the X-Peak Lite, and the Trike. But the X-Peak is my favorite. Are you in the market for an electric e-bike? How about check out Electric Brand? I have my affiliate link down below underneath this video in the description. If you purchase something through my link, it helps out the channel. All right, back to the video. Bringing the car for it over. Piece by piece. setting it up here to see the size just taller than I thought it was going to be you have to go to the other side martinis you watching us I'm watching what y'all are doing all right Paul just got to put the screws in put the siding on not sure if we're going to leave it right here Paul just wanted to put it up, get a visual. Now that I see that it's up, I can know where to put it. Yep, figure it out. You're going to have to put some kind of a we always do railroad good, tie or we'll, two by four or a footer or something on it. We always good, do good business. Yeah, thank you. So, got a new to me three wheeler, car shelter. Of course, it's not going to go there. And here's the metal for the siding. Okay, well I want to thank my buddy Paul and his wife Darcy for bringing up the Big Red and the new car shelter. I think my van will fit just perfect in here and I may also put the uh, Goldwing up here in the front. Keep it out of the weather. He said that the metal, he, if he remembered right, will go all the way down to the ground. That's facing south, that's facing north. So that'll keep the sun off of it. So I'm going to set it this direction, but probably not right here at this spot. The Goldwing's got a good place here, but it gets more sun than I like. And I'm always having to take the cover on and off. So it'll be nice to get it under the car shelter. I could put it in here, but it's too hard to get in and get out. Kind of the same issue with a three-wheeler. The three-wheeler is very wide. Uh... It may or may not make it. I make it right on those. I'm unsure, but I'll be put. I'll find a way to put the big red in there if I'm going to be gone for a minute. Keep it safe. Paul Darcy and I we sit here, chewed the fat for a minute, and uh, decided to take the monkey out, put it in the garage, and the big red fits really nice right in here. So uh, I may repair this crack for now, but I got a feeling I'm just going to replace all the plastics on it. Wax that tank and put uh, some new stickers on here. All right, put my flag back up today. Well, thank you for hanging out with Paul Darcy and I. Had a good day here with friends. But I think that's going to make the end of today's video. I'm going to end it where? You guessed it, right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. And as always, what? I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my Lord and Savior. See you next video. Bye from Concho, Arizona.